Welcome to this week's virtual assembly. This is our 27th assembly online and it's for the awards from week seven and we're sharing it at the start of week eight. We acknowledge the traditional owners and caretakers of this land on which we are gathered and pay our respect to their elders, both past, present and future. This week we have a prayer of hope. Not everything is cancelled. Sunshine is not cancelled. Spring is not cancelled. Love is not cancelled. Relationships are not cancelled. Reading is not cancelled. Naps are not cancelled. Devotion is not cancelled. Music is not cancelled. Dancing is not cancelled. Imagination is not cancelled. Kindness is not cancelled. Conversations are not cancelled and hope is not cancelled. Everyone is doing a great job of keeping safe during these COVID times. Just remember, always wash your hands carefully, cover your cough. And if you're unwell, whether you're on site at school or at home, make sure you do stay home. Stay safe, everyone, and we will get through this and be back at school very soon. Okay, now it's time for the awards for this week. Congratulations to James in Prep A for your excellent effort with flexible learning activities. Congratulations to Jack in Prep HB for your enthusiastic participation during the Zoom sessions and for the great effort you put into all of your activities, Jack. From 1FT, congratulations to Luca for your excellent effort as well with flexible learning. In 1K, congratulations to Sebastian for an excellent effort again with flexible learning. In 1Y, congratulations to Philly for your fantastic effort in creating a superheroes Kahoot for the class to play. Also, your enthusiastic participation in Zoom activities has to be noted. Well done, Philly. In 2VK, congratulations to Alex for fantastic effort in flexible learning. In 2MS, congratulations goes to Ali also for your fantastic effort in all flexible learning activities. In 3D, congratulations to Abigail for your awesome efforts on study ladder and creating a magnificent column graph. In 3LO, congratulations to Aita for your enthusiastic attitude during flexible learning. In 4M, congratulations to Evie for always putting your best effort into everything you do and a special mention has to go for your project on erosion. In 4R, congratulations for, to Miller for creating an excellent slideshow explaining symmetry. In 5J, congratulations to Luca for consistently and thoroughly completing your flexible learning work. Well done. In 5S, congratulations to Joe for always showing up to his scheduled Zooms and completing all set tasks each week. Keep up the great work, Joe. In 6G, congratulations to Zoe for excellent effort during flexible learning sessions. And in 6L, congratulations to Amelia for always completing all of your classwork to a great standard. Well done on all of your hard work. The PE award from Miss Trot this week also goes to Amelia from 6L for always completing her PE home learning and putting 100% effort into tasks each week. Well done, Mip. So well done to all of you for showing us that it is possible to engage with flexible learning at home even when lockdown continues and it's really hard for you and your families. We're really proud of you and to all of the other children that are doing their best. Keep up the great work that's going to help you with your learning and hopefully 
We'll be back at school together very soon. Okay, now for the birthdays for this week. Sadly, more lockdown birthdays. I'm sure you'll be able to celebrate them once we come out of lockdown. So congratulations to Tara, whose birthday is on the 30th of August. Tara from 6L, congratulations Tara. And also Mia from 5S on the 30th of August. On the last day of August, the 31st, congratulations. Demetra from 1K. On the 1st of September now, congratulations to Jude from 4M. I hope you have a great birthday, Jude. And then on the 2nd of September, congratulations to Darcy from 6L. Also, congratulations to Max from 3L. And also on the 2nd of September, congratulations to Alicia from 2VK. I hope you all have a wonderful birthday and that your families can spoil you as much as they possibly can. Okay, so it is now time for the House Awards. And fortunately, Miss Trot is here to present, draw and present those awards today. So I better put my mask on because Miss Trot's here. So welcome, Miss Trot. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Where do I stand at the back? Yeah, over to you so you can see. Okay, hi guys, it's good to see you all virtually. Um, hope you're all doing well in home learning and being active each day, trying to find something that we can get outside and go for a little walk or get the footy at the park or something like that. Um, okay, so like I said, very exciting. We've had a couple house points um, this week that your teachers have sent me. So any of the, if you do get your name um, pulled out, just make sure that you email um, Mrs. Hawkins um, for your prize. Okay, so we'll start off with Grabo. Loving these new house boxes that Lawrence has made. All right, so the winner from Grabo this week um, in 3D, Johnny. Well done in 3D, Johnny. Next one, Tobin. Oh, all right, the lucky winner from Tobin. Uh, this was from Karen, someone in 2MS for being kind and helpful, it says on here. And that goes to Laif Dodds. So Laif in 2MS, well done Laif. And Blue, Bainbridge. And that's on Bainbridge. Ah, someone in 1FT. This goes to Joseph Medes. Well done, Joseph, in 1FT. And Lucky Lass, Rivera. Another person in 3D, Mr. Day during this class, and that goes to Charlotte. Well done, Charlotte, in Rivera 3D. All right, thanks guys. Make sure you're looking after yourself and doing something each day. Hopefully see you soon. Bye. It's that time. We've been asked if we can transform again and I'm going to invite Mrs. Oliver today to see what we can do today. All right, welcome Mrs. Oliver. Thank you, Miss Hawkins. These transformations are just amazing. I hope you've been trying to do them at home as well. It takes some practice, doesn't it? It does. But I have noticed one of the children that I spoke to the other day asked whether it can happen anywhere. I actually have only found that it only happens here in this spot. Oh, really? In the office. Oh, so, wow. but we have discovered that we can end up in other places. So let's see where we end up today, Mrs. Oliver. We look like twins. I know. In a sink, aren't we? <laughs> All right. Okay. Are we ready, everyone? Are you going to help us? All right. One, two, three, four, five. Wow! Oh, here we are. Oh, and it's daffodil day. Look, we've Who got some guests. Beautiful daffodils. Oh, I love this feeling in yellow. It's such a Bright, happy colour. Lots of hope for everyone. And look at our beautiful garden of hope. With lots, lots of spoons and rocks with lovely positive messages. 
hope, love, kindness. Oh, isn't it beautiful? It's growing so much. Thank you, everyone, for doing such a wonderful job. You have made some beautiful spoons. And I've heard, Mrs. Oliver, that we have raised over $2,000. Isn't that amazing? An amazing effort by our very generous community. And you know, all of that money will go towards research to help find a cure for cancer. Absolutely. Thank you everyone so much. Thank you for all of your hard work. We've got daffodils. People have bought daffodils. They've made donations. Children have made these beautiful Spoonville spoons of hope and we are so proud of all of you you are doing an amazing job it's locked down but that doesn't stop us from doing wonderful things to help people and the, the color the yellow the daffodils they make us happy they do they? So we really hope you're happy. all very happy thank you for everything that you are doing Thank you, everyone. I think we need to do a, a twirl to celebrate at the solver. We've got a social distance, but we can do a twirl. Yay! We are so happy. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful week and a beautiful weekend. Bye. Thank you again. Bye. Is that taking? Yes, it's still taking.